2022 edition for 4X and racing. It was Bad Wolf, the first of them to hit the ground. Bella's Idol, no apology. The only mare in the cup field, Native Chimes, going up with Bella's Idol. And they're going to settle down together. As they go by the winning post, Native Chimes looking for the front. She grabbed hold of the bridle to go past Bella's Idol. No apology, followed them over. Tell him we're coming from an inside gate. Lob prominent down on the inside of Brother Paddy. Stafford's lad shunted deep, leaving the straight on the outside of Ombudsman. A length and a half to Rostropovich, and he's a Parker sluice box well back. And the tail ender is General Grant. At the 1600 they go. Native Chimes got them running in the cup, led by nearly two Bella's Idol. A length and a half away, running third, no apology. Settled on a cotton thread for Warwick. Back on the inside to tell him we're coming, who's up running fourth inside of Bad Wolf. Then came Brother Paddy, just inclined to over race a little. Stafford's lad's going to have to cover a bit of ground here. The top weight, he's going around them now as the speed slackens. He takes off and he's going right around the outside. Native Chimes lead, Stafford's lad strode to second, third, Bella's idle. And then came No Apology, now given the run of the race here with 1,100 to go. A length and a half to Bad Wolf, tell him we're coming together. They're followed further back on the inside. He's a Parker, Rostropovich out deep around the outside of Brother Paddy. Then Sluicebox. Heeled along by McGruddy. Back there is General Grant at the 800. And the tail ender is Ombudsman. To the Charles Street side in the Kalgoorlie Gold Cup. Native Chimes controls the tempo. Stafford's lad made that mid-race move to be second. Bella's idle third. Warwick has given no apology. The run of the race. Then Bad Wolf. Tell him we're coming back behind those. Followed then by Heza Parker. Stoked up on the rails from Brother Paddy Rostropovich. Sluice boxes after going to come around them via the cape. Under the stick, General Grant dropping out Ombudsman at the top of the home straight. Native Chimes is just in front. Stafford's lad. Warwick's about to make a move with no apology, but Stafford's lad hit the front. 250 left to go. Stafford's lad, the leader. Native Chimes battling back down the outside. No apology. Under the big weight, Stafford's lad. The only mere Native Chimes keeps coming from no apology. Stafford's lad digs in. Stafford's lad won the cup. Stafford's lad has won it. Outstanding win. Has scored from either no apology or Native Chimes. They Gap the others. Back behind them came Bad Wolf. Also their brother Paddy Sluicebox. Tell him we're coming. He's a Parker. General Grant beaten a long way from home. Then Bella's idol. Second last is Ombudsman with Rostropovich. Tailed off a long, long last. What a brave victory. It was absolute tenacity personified by Stafford's lad who now has claimed the Boulder and Kalgoorlie Cups. In a move Sean O'Donnell would have been thinking to himself had he made the right decision. At the end of the day, you bet he has. Even with the 59 kilos, Stafford's lad, he went around them from back in the field. He was in danger of being caught wide all the way. So O'Donnell decided to go forward and press the button early and run the risk of the 59 anchoring the horse over the final stages. No apology with the run of the race right behind it throughout. Unable to bridge the margin, has run second. Third is number 11, Native Chimes, which has certainly run out of her skin. And a distant fourth, number seven, Bad Wolf. One, four, 11, seven in a time of 2.14.06. Only 0.56 of a second outside of Zio Remus's 1988. 2200 meter course record for Sean O'Donnell it's another cup victory having won it back in 2014 eight years ago on classic ivory and has won by a neck with a short half head it was an heroic victory by Stafford's lad for Danny Morton raced by Richard Bennett JB Bennett B Cox the Netties on tour syndicate a Vallis also, S. Henry, S. Went, the Magic Maulers, managed by Richie Bennett. And a training triumph here for Danny Morton and written by Sean O'Donnell, beating no apology by declaration of war from opening ceremony, given every chance by Lucy Warwick, raced by Brandon Fiore, trained by Stephen Miller, and 11 third native chimes for M. Southgate, Mrs. T. Rodwell by my admiration from Native Song, Kiri Yule for Darren Pateman. 1 4 11 7 after the running of the 4X Kalgoorlie Gold Cup. And a great result here for the Morton Stable and a brave, gutsy win by Stafford's lad.
The last is at the Neo Metals handicap at 5.15. Troy Turner's on seven green and shady. 17 night. Tempest is out. Britt Taylor joins us after this wonderful weight-carrying performance by Stafford's lad.